So if you evaporate salt from the ocean and take the pot liquor that's left at about 90% evaporation, it's pretty high in boron too. Okay. And it's got every trace element. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sea minerals, because I... The sea minerals. Oh Maynard boy. Murray, I came across Maynard Murray about eight or nine years oh, ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like... Yeah, Maynard was was putting the actual evaporated salt, salt on. And I bought a and, container load of it back and, about nine and years then, ago. <laughs> and, and it's a great, like, fully evaporated sea salt, and it's great for, like, using in pickling and curing and all these sorts of things. It's a great salt. It's very tasty. But you don't need too much sodium on your land or you chloride. Don't. Absolutely, which is so, why I stopped using it the way I was. Because when I started, it was yeah. like a good carry thing. Is a bit is good. A lot of must be better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that's the kind of, human thing yeah, there. That's the typical moron theory. Yeah, but I uh, well, we all start out that way. Yeah, but I did right. a good bit of research then on Ormus and um, the vortex and the magnetic extraction methods. Okay. So what we hope to do is down the road here. You can see out in the peninsula. There is a place that have a shellfish farm down there and they have a pipe going a mile and a half out to sea. Okay. So I'm hoping to work with them okay. and use the magnets <laughs> and extract the 